Don in London, hello. It's August 18th, 2009, and the sun is shining outside. We may have a day of summer, and uh, that's quite good here in London, UK. We seem to be a bit short on good weather. I suppose it depends on your outlook, really. Some people like rain. I don't. Well, I do, in, in sporadic bits. Anyway, to get to the point, what are my videos all about? Well, they're all about recovery, and uh, recovery from addiction to substance or behaviour. My substance, alcohol. My behaviour, trying to be perfect, workaholic, gymaholic, uh, relationshipaholic, you name it. And the other holic, alcoholic. Life is not easy uh, when we're fearful, and uh, we have to put a brave face on. Uh, we use our brittle, brittle ego to keep going. And we need to take the edge off, because life is sometimes very difficult. Socially awkward, maybe. I was. And then alcohol helped me overcome it. And then I wasn't socially awkward at all. I just kept on drinking and being convivial, I thought. And I did that for a long time. And in the end, like any, any substance or behaviour which becomes obsessive and compulsive, it turns into addiction. And that's it. An addict in behaviour or substance. So recovery, or being in recovery, means that one day at a time, I'm aware of who I am and what I'm doing. It doesn't mean I know who I am completely, because I've still got the rest of my life to go, one day at a time. And my life plan is one day at a time. So going, going, gone are the coping strategies of the past. And the main coping strategy was to take the edge off, and to keep on working hard, to keep working out what I thought other people felt was right for me. Because I didn't know what was right for me, and uh, maybe these days I still don't know, but I find on a daily basis life is interesting. And that's a great difference between being so so down and at rock bottom, uh, not waking up was my preference. So these days I do like to wake up and uh, see what's happening. Sometimes it's a very sad day, sometimes it's a day which makes me angry. Some di sometimes I need to know what is what is happening with my feelings and why. So, last 24 hours actually have been pretty good. And what helps me? Family, community, society, professional people. And a fellowship, AA. And the fellowship of AA, it, AA stands for Alcoholics Anonymous. If you have a substance behaviour which is not alcohol, there is probably an anonymous fellowship out there you can tap into if you choose to. It's all about choice, and uh, the fellowship gives me choices on a daily basis. I don't speak for it because it's a fellowship and people in fellowship can speak for themselves where they choose. Same as me. I choose to share experience, strength and hope which helps me keep in recovery simply here. So there is a way to find uh, life can be better again and life can work and we get to know who we are. Very strange. A stranger in my own life. and. Uh, Every time I go to AA, there is a statement said, and I'll share it here. Again, I emphasise, it, it's all, fellowship is full of unique, authentic people. I don't speak for them. They speak for themselves where they choose. So, the statement said at the beginning of every meeting is, Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other, that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And AA is very focused on uh, the requirement for membership is only a desire to stop drinking. And its sole purpose, primary purpose, not sole, but primary purpose, is to stay sober, is for us to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And not to get involved in uh, videos like this, simply because it's just my, my view and my choice. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I don't represent AA, ever. So, why do I talk about AA? Because it saved my life. And it continues to keep me in a place of emotional, spiritual and physical well-being. So I know what my feelings are today and I don't try and suppress them or deny them. I have an understanding of what is spiritual, it's seeing the truth of now. And spiritual, I used to think, was something godly or connected to religion. And I defi defied it because I was all-powerful in my own life 
And these days I realize my life is the same as anybody else's. We all have choices as they appear as life happens and as, as society changes and family and community. So we make the best of and we're not more important or less important than anybody else. So I'm not here to run anybody else's life. I'm just here to make some good choices to keep well and see what life can be. So what helps me when I'm not going to meetings are this book, Daily Reflections, One Page Day, and uh, there are 12 steps of action uh, for individuals, finding a way to be open, honest, and willing to change attitude and behavior into non-drinkers on a daily basis. That's my life plan. And then see how life can turn out. So in the daily reflections today for August 18th, it says getting well. Very deep, sometimes quite forgotten, damaging emotional conflicts persist below the level of consciousness. Only through positive action can I remove the remains of guilt and shame brought on by alcohol. Throughout my mis misadventures when I drank, my friends would say, why are you doing this? You're only hurting yourself. Little did I know how true these words were. Although I had harmed others, some of my behavior caused grave wounds to my soul. Step 8 uh, of the 12 steps provides me with a way of forgiving myself. I alleviate much of the, of the hidden damage when I make a, my list of people, the list of those I have hurt. In making amends, I free myself of burdens, thus contributing to my healing. And you know what, it is healing to admit and make a list of all the things done and to make amends where we can. And the amends bit is next month, step nine. And these 12 steps, they do work. And I went to a newcomers meeting yesterday in the evening. Uh, I had somebody around to help me sort my kitchen out. Uh, it's part of the landlord's responsibility, so that's going to happen. And then I went for a diabetic checkup in the afternoon. And uh, the good news is I'm making good progress. And that's complementary to how the fellowship program works, the 12 steps. It's all about making progress and never perfect. And believe you me, if you've got type 1 diabetes, trying to get it perfect is more likely to kill you, simply because uh, we would become, become obsessed to the point where we couldn't move from a chair without test, testing blood or taking insulin or worrying about food. We make progress and do what we can on a daily basis, but every day is different. Our physiology is different. Uh, it changes daily. Anyway, I'm whispering here. In this book, as Bill sees it, it's very complementary to uh, the daily reflections, although I do these in a sort of linear order. So on page 180, community problem. The answer to the problem of alcohol alcoholism seems to be in education. Education in schoolrooms, in medical colleges, among clergymen and employers, in families and in the public at large. From cradle to grave, the drunk and the potential alcoholic will have to be completely surrounded by a true and deep understanding and by a continuous barrage of information. Yeah, probably. This means factual education properly presented. Heretofore, much of this education has attacked the immorality of drinking rather than the illness of alcoholism. And believe you me, addiction is an illness. It's a mental illness as well as a physical illness. And underlying that is the spiritual being able to see the truth of now so it goes on to say now who is going to do all this education obviously it is both a commu community job and a job for specialists individually we, e we AAs can help but AA as such cannot and should not get directly involved in this, into this field therefore we must rely on other agencies on outside friends and their willingness to supply great amounts of money and effort and the gift really is, <laughs> if you get to AA, it's enough just to keep alive and then share a message of experience, strength and hope with those who have got to the place of rock bottom and determine they need a way out. So, as the next Prime Minister said, education, education, education. For, but for those who are in denial, like I was, I don't know how far we can go with that. It's open to speculation. Anyway, my time is up and uh, the serenity prayer to God or your good conscience grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference is just for today